Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, teacher, yes. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay. Let's start. Okay. Now we will be seeing competitive adjectives. Dr. Sarvapali Radhakrishnan. Okay. We will wait for the people for a while. How was your day? Lourdes, how was your day? My day is tighter. Tired, okay. Yes. What you have been doing? Um, no sé cómo decirle, estoy así en clases de manejo. Me toca llegar. Driving, driving lessons. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you already have your car or are you just wanted to learn? Um, ¿Ya tiene carro o solo quiere aprender? Es solo es para la licencia. Ok. Uh -huh. Pero lo que no se practica se olvida. <risa> Así que tan pronto pueda, agarra carro y se pone a seguir practicando. Uh -huh. el, el manejar es práctica, práctica, práctica. You have to practice a lot. And avoid crashing other cars. <laughs> It's better to go on low on, on low speed rather than speed and have problems. Okay. Now, uh, repeat after me. True teachers are those. True teachers are those. True teachers are those, are those. who help us think for ourselves. Who help who us, help us, help us for ourselves, our, ourselves? Ourselves. Dr. Sarvapali Radhakrishnan. Okay. He is Indian. As uh, was also Gandhi. Okay. Gandhi was Indian. Well, true teachers or real teachers or good teachers are those who help us think for ourselves. That means that let you think or make you think, okay? Not, not just follow orders, but think. And you have to, when somebody said, you have to do this, you have to understand why you have to do that. Not only go and do it because someone said, okay?
we have to work in the platform. Okay, uh, now let's check. Have you already done this? Ya hicieron esta? Yes, I did. 3.9, okay. Uh, look at the following pictures. What are these things made of? Identify each one. Use the words from the list, okay? We have a list here. Repeat after me, cotton. 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 Rubber. 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 Gold. 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 Silk. 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 Leather. 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 Silver. Silver. Plastic. 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 Gool. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, those are the materials. Now we have to decide which of these things are made out of what uh, you have here, okay? So you have to choose between <laughs> cotton, rubber, gold, silk, leather, silver, plastic, and cool. So a bracelet, plastic, gold, plastic, plastic bracelet. It's according to these drawings. Letter E, no, Miss. Plastic, only C. Plastic, no, this thing, plastic, okay. Now, uh, about the ring. Oh, oh, gold. 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 gold ring. And the tie? Silk. 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 Tie. Wool. Sock. Wool. 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 And what about jacket? Leather. 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 Leather jacket. And then number six. Cotton. Cotton. And the earrings. Silver. 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 What about the boots? Rubber. 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 Okay. okay, everything correct. Great. Congratulations. Okay. Now we finish that. And by the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Normally, when you compare something, uh, could be two things, okay? And with comparisons are two things, longer than, 
eh, shorter than, bigger than, eh, okay. whatever, okay? But, uh, which one, uh, no, preferences, comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better or I, li I like the better one more, okay? Now, uh, do you understand the difference between one and ones? Yes. Okay. Um, there are different degrees in the comparisons of adjectives, okay? Uh, we have the simple adjective, we have the comparative adjectives when we use better than, uh, smaller than, okay, that is comparatives. But we also have superlatives. But for superlatives, we have to talk about more than just two things, okay, because uh, the superlative uh, means that is the best from all or the tallest from all, okay? You have to, to, to be talking about more than just two people. Repeat after me. That one is cheaper than the wool one. That one is cheaper than the one. This one is nicer than. This one is nicer than. The leather jacket is prettier than. The leather jacket is prettier than. It looks bigger than. It looks bigger than. It's more stylish than. It's, it's more stylish. stylish than. Okay, cheaper than, nicer than, prettier than, bigger than, more stylish than. Okay, those are comparative. Comparatives. You are comparing two things, two people or uh, to um, animals, okay? Now, the adjective tells you more about the size, shape, color, etc. of nouns, okay? We put them before nouns. They do not have plural. Uh, uh, we say this because in Spanish we have plurals for the adjectives, but in English we don't have plurals. For example, he is tall, she is tall, they are tall. When we use an adjective with a noun, the adjective must come before the noun. Look at my new thought. You are a young woman, okay? Now repeat. The adjectives tell you more about the size. The adjectives about the size. Shape. 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 Color. Shape. Color. 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 
etc. Or et noun. Et cetera. Et cetera. Now. We put them before noun. We put them before noun. They do not have plural. They, they do not have plural. plural. Example. 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 He is tall. 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 They are tall. They, they are tall. When we use a noun, we now, the adjective must come before the noun. When we use an adjective with a noun, the adjective must come before the noun. When we use an adjective with a noun, when we use an adjective with a noun, the adjective must come before the noun. The adjective, the adjective must, must come before the noun. Okay. Comparative. We form the comparative of adjectives meaning superiority with short adjectives by adding R or ER. We use the word than after the adjective. We form the comparative of adjectives meaning superiority with short adjectives by adding R or ER. We use the word than K after the adjective. Okay. White, white is ancho. Wider than, más ancho. Tall is uh, alto. alto. Taller than, más alto que. Okay. Sorry, today I'm very, very slow because uh, I have been, I have been upset and I was sweating uh, very, very much all day, it, but it's a, a cold sweating. Okay, it's like uh, when you are weak, okay, and then you turn that way. So that's why I'm I'm very very slow today. Sorry for that, but I'm here with you. With adjectives ending in y, we change y to i and add er. Okay, pretty prettier than ugly uglier than. Those are a uh, the rules of the comparative, how you form the, the comparative in the adjectives, okay? And these are for short adjectives because for long adjectives, we use another, another rule, okay? For short adjectives, we add R or ER for most of them. But when they end with Y, we change the Y for I and add ER. Pretty, prettier. Ugly, uglier. Now, uh, see, we duplicate the last consonant letter in a vowel sound if a vowel sound is between two consonants. That means consonant, vowel, consonant. Fat, fatter, we double the last consonant. Big, bigger, we double the last consonant. Okay? Repeat after me. We form the comparative adjectives 
meaning superiority? We for the comparative adjectives meaning superiority. With long adjectives. With long adjectives. With long adjectives. By using the word more. By using the word more. The word more. Before the adjectives. Before, Before the adjectives. And then we write the word done after the adjective. Before the adjective, and then we write the word done after the adjective. After the adjective. Okay, look at, at the example. Vicky is more beautiful than Betty. Vicky is, is more beautiful than Betty. Okay. Betty is more intelligent than Vicky. Very is, more, is more, more intelligent than Vicky. Okay. Now, we have here uh, the one, the, this is with the one syllable, the biggest, the smallest, mm -hmm. Nicest, tallest, shortest, um, strongest, weakest, longest. We are going to see now the superlative degree. Okay. Now we have, repeat after me. We form the superlative degree. We form the superlative degree of short adjectives. Of short, of short adjectives. By writing the article the. By writing, By the, writing the article the. Before the adjective. Before the, Before the adjective. adjective. And adding EST. And adding EST. 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 Uh, to the adjective. To the adjective. For example, he is the nicest boy. He is the, nice, he is the nicest boy. boy. Él es el muchacho más simpático, ¿ok? Now, Diana is the tallest. Diana is Diana the tallest. Diana is the tallest. Diana is the tallest girl in our classroom. Diana is the tallest girl in our classroom. Ok. With long adjectives, we With use the expression the most before the adjective. You are the most intelligent student here. You are the most intelligent student here. It is the most expensive car in town. It is the most expensive car in town. Now you have there the positive adjective, the comparative, and the superlative. Remember that with positive adjective, you don't need any word writing from the noun. Okay, you, you don't need adjectives. With, uh, no, excuse me, you, uh, with the positive adjectives, you just use the adjective before the noun, okay? You are not comparing it with anything. You just telling how tall is somebody or what's the color of something or whatever uh, you want the adjective for. With the comparative adjectives, we use the adjective plus the suffix 
E R and then than. Okay. And for the superlative adjective, we use the, then the adjective, and we add EST. The shortest, the tallest, the fastest, no, the fattest, the laziest, the nicest, the cutest, the most beautiful, the most intelligent, the most interesting. If you notice here, we have all uh, the examples. The short, the short way, and how we compare, adding ER or R, okay? And for the long adjectives, we add more before the adjective and then that. Okay. This is a very important chart. Yes. We also have a regular comparative. We also have a irregular adjective. The previous ones was the regular ones, and these ones are the irregular ones. Uh, they don't follow the same rules from the other one. For example, adjectives. We say better than when we are talking about good. Now, repeat. Good, better than. Good, better than. The best. The best. The best. The best. The best. Bad, worse than the worst. Bad, worse than the worst. Sorry. Little, little, less than, less than the least. The least. Less than the least. Well, 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 better than, better than, better than, the best, the best, the best. The best. The best. Much more than the most. Much more than the most. Okay. Now. We have to work on the platform. Okay. Now, knowledge check. Look at the pictures below and complete the following exercises using comparative adjectives. We have the silk, polyester, mold, uh, medium, fourth, and gold. Cotton and gold. Well, uh, as I told you, we already had the adjectives and we have to practice. Now, which dress is pretty? Pretty. pretty. Which dress is the prettier? Pretty. Pretty. The yellow one or the green one? Well, the green one is silk. And silk is... More expensive. More, expensive. more expensive than. More expensive than. Okay. 
Is this blue t-shirt larger than larger than, larger than, than, larger than, than the red and white one? Now, no, the red and white one is bigger. 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 Look at this pan. Which ones do you like? Better. Uh, which ones do you like better? I prefer the green cotton ones. They're more stylish ones. More stylish ones. Okay. Okay. Now, any questions about this? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre cómo se usan los, los, los comparativos y los superlativos? ¿Cómo se forman? Ok, now, uh, if you don't have any questions about how to use these rules, now, uh, you will make uh, some examples of how to create a uh, the comparative and the superlative with adjectives, but uh, I will give you the adjective, the simple, and you will say how you form the superlative degree, the, the comparative and the superlative degree, okay? Okay, now, for example, tall, how do you make it comparative? Cool, what? what? Tall, T-A-L-L. -L. Taller, 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 taller than, he is taller than. Okay. Uh, what about, uh, Um, intelligent. More intelligent. More intelligent. More intelligent. Than. More intelligent. intelligent than. Than. More intelligent. Than. Uh, what about beautiful? More, more beautiful. beautiful more than. beautiful. Than. More beautiful. Than. Uh, okay. Well, now we have to check if you have any questions about the if you have any questions about the test because you are supposed to be finished it during this during this uh, week. Okay. No se quiere cambiar. Okay. Now we have first the listening. Listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. Now listen. Snow. 
I can hear. I can hear the audio is okay. Do, lo, lo pudieron escuchar o no? No, no. I don't listening. No, no lo escucharon para nada. No, no. Y aquí se oía bien. Bueno, este, de todos modos, ustedes lo tienen en la, en, en, en la, en la, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Y aquí? No, nada. Tampoco. No. Ok. Check it in your in your uh, computer because you have it in the in the platform, okay? Uh, then you have to answer who is Lucy Friends. Lucy Friends. Yes. What uh, her last name? Marcel. Marcel. Uh, no, you have to no answers right now. Ah, okay. Check the answers tomorrow. Okay. Right now, just checking if you have any questions about the, the form or the questions that are made from the from the. Or if you can do it. Uh, or if you have any doubts. Then Lucy's math teacher is. They are all. And then part two, this is another listening. It, it says that Ben prefers the, and about the blue shirts are, the green shirts are made of Ben's size, okay? And those are the questions. Do you have any doubt about what you have to do? First, you have to listen to the audio by yourself because here you cannot listen to it. Then, according to the audio, you are choosing here what's the best answer. Remember just to put in one because here you can, you can put on all of them, but uh, you have to choose just one. Now, uh, in B, you have to fill in the blank with the correct form or verb to be. The, were you, okay, then here, David, in your class this semester, Now, repeat after me. Where? Where? You from, Teresa? You from, Teresa? I'm from Mexico City. How about you? I'm from Mexico City. How about you? David, in your class this semester, David, David, in your David class, class this semester? semester? Yes, we are in the same Spanish class. Yes, yes we, are, we are in the same, same Spanish, Spanish class. class. 
number three. What, what is your math class, class like? It's what really is interesting. your math class like? It's really interesting. It's really, it's really, really interesting. interesting. And the teacher is great. And the and teacher is great. great. Maria and Brian from Canada. Maria, Maria and Brian from, from Canada. No, from England. No, from no. England. Now we have a part two. Complete the following conversation with simple present. Okay. Where you work? Where you work? Where you I work? work in a restaurant. I'm a chef. I work. Um, I work in a, in a restaurant. In a restaurant. I'm a chef. I'm a chef. I'm a chef. Okay. What? Does what he, does he do? Does he do exactly? Exactly. What? He do exactly. He's a pilot. He's, he's, he's a, a pilot, pilot for for global, for global airlines. airlines. Global airlines. Where does she? Where does she, <laughs> where does she, she go? To school? She goes to the yeah, University yeah. of Colorado. She goes to the University of Colorado. Okay. Now, we have circle the word. Choose the right possessive adjective. Just the right. Nice to meet you, Rich. And what? So last nice. Name your again. last name. Okay. Nice to meet you, Rich. And okay. Last name what? Last name again. What's last name again? Now, last name is Parker. It's last, nice to meet you, too. Last name is Parker. It's nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, too. This is my new friend. Okay. This is my new friend, Elizabeth. Everyone calls Beth. Okay, you have to choose here. Yeah. Hi, Beth. Repeat. Hi, Beth. Hi, Beth. Hi, Beth. We are the Johnsons. We are, we are the Johnsons. First names are Frank and Jerry. First names are Frank and Jerry. Okay. Choose the proper object pronoun. I don't remember that they have taught you the object pronouns, but I have I have a, a chart uh, from from different uh, pronouns. The the object pronouns are the ones that uh, were the we have subject pronouns and object pronouns. Subject pronouns are the ones that are doing uh, the, they, they are doing what the verb says in the in, in the sentence. Okay? Those are the subject pronouns. But the object pronouns uh, are the uh, the pronouns that represent over who 
the action is done. O sea, ¿sobre quién recae la acción? For example, if I say, he gives me a flower. Entonces, he is a subject pronoun and me is the object pronoun. Who is giving the flower? He. Who is receiving the flower? Me. Okay? That's the difference between a uh, subject pronoun and object pronoun. Uh, the object pronouns are me, yo, your, talk to you, you, um, him, her, it, um, our, their, no, them, us, us, give us, give them. Siempre digo que tengo que poner el verbo antes para acordarme bien. Give me, give you, give him, give her, give us, give them. Okay. Those are the object pronouns. So here, Johnny Depp is him. Okay. Now, music videos aren't very interesting. Do you like? Uh, okay. Now, uh, my favorite TV program is Survivor. What do you think of? Me. Okay. Now, in the next, we have complete the sentences. Mm -hmm. Filling the gaps with the correct time expression. Okay. I sleep at until until 10 p.m. on week days. No, I sleep at. At. Uh -huh. uh, John gets home late. Um, night. Pero estas no son time expressions. Lo que hay que llenar con, esas no son time expressions, son este, eh, prepositions of time. John gets home late. Okay. Now you have to use the prepositions uh, according to the rules that I gave you, remember? Now, here in the other one, fill in the sentences with the demonstrative pronoun. How much is this watch? Yeah, because I can find the price tag, that means that is 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 near. Okay. Remember that the difference between this is here, that, this, those. Okay. Is this wash? Look at purple jeans over there. Over there. It's not close, okay? It's over there. I like gold earrings. They look great on me. Ya se los está probando, o sea que. Excuse me, I like. Can I see it, please? She likes. She likes. Glasses over there. Okay, now the reading. You have to read uh, the email and then check the correct answer. 
Repeat after me. Hi, Ernesto. Hi, Ernesto. Hi, Ernesto. In your email message, you ask me. In your email message, you ask me. What do I do every day? What do I do, what do, I do every day? Well, I'm a student at the University of Michigan. Well, well, I am a student at the University of Michigan. I really like my classes. I really, I really like, like my classes. classes. I study computer science and Chinese. I study, I study computer science, science and, Chinese. and Chinese. I go to school around 8 in the morning. I go and to I school around eight in the morning. On weekdays. On weekdays. Around noon. Around noon. Around noon. I have lunch with some classmates. I have lunch. I have lunch with some classmates. On Mondays and Fridays. On Mondays and Fridays. I work out in the gym. I work I out, work I work in, out the in the gym. Before my class. Before, Before my, class. my class. And in late afternoon. And in the late, late afternoon. Late afternoon, afternoon. On Tuesdays and Thursdays. On Tuesdays and Thursdays. Thursdays. My friend Daniel and I, my, my friend, friend Daniel, Daniel and, I, and I, have part-time jobs. Have part-time part jobs. jobs. We work in the cafeteria. We work, we work in the cafeteria. cafeteria. We work in the school cafeteria. We work in the cafeteria. cafeteria. And I study in the library every week. And, and I study, study in, the library in the library every, library every week night. Until about 2 a.m. Until about, about 2 a.m. A.m. I am a full-time student. I am, I am a full-time student. student. And I have and I don't have I don't have time to watch TV. And I don't and have, I don't have, don't have time, time to watch TV. To watch TV. And what do you do? And what, and what, what do, you do? do you do? Send me another email, please. Send me Send another, me another email, 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 please. please. Yes. Your friend Chris. Your new friend, friend Chris. Chris. Ernesto is Chris. You had to choose. Okay. New friends. Okay. Yes. Now. Chris is a. You have to choose. Daniel. Okay. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, Chris, and you have to choose, okay? Works with Daniel. And that's it. Yes. Well, for tomorrow, you have to be, uh, to have it already complete. If you haven't completed, don't worry, because tomorrow we will be completed together, okay? But uh, before the exam, I will uh, uh, show you the ones, the, the things with the object panel. And we will have a little review of all the classes before in order to uh, answer the midterm exam properly. Okay. But if you already have done it, don't worry. It's it's better for you. Go on with the platform. O sea, continúe con la plataforma, ¿verdad? Entre más adelante, mejor. Y de todos modos, nosotros venimos eh, aquí este, repasando cosas. 
si hay alguna duda o consulta, este, escriban por medio del grupo del WhatsApp para que se las pueda estar este, ayudando en lo que, lo que sea que usted necesite, ¿verdad? Este, tengan suerte los que no han hecho el examen, ¿verdad? Traten de leer un poco antes lo que es este, el material que, que han estado cubriendo. Este, recuerden que yo siempre les pongo un poquito más en lo que es el PPT, un poco más de lo que, además de lo que tienen en, el, en, en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Siento que de esa forma es mejor para ustedes porque les amplío conceptos que tal vez se les han dado así o que no han profundizado mucho, ¿verdad? Este, me gusta ampliarlos para que usted tenga una mejor perspectiva, ¿verdad? Y es que el conocimiento es, es muy poderoso, ¿ok? ¿Alguna duda o consulta con respecto a cómo va el examen? No. ¿No? ¿Está fácil? Yes. Bien. Entonces, este, bueno, mañana lo verificamos, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo está? Pero mañana me dan copia ustedes a mí. A ver qué tal. Este, y, y ya con mañana es, estamos llegando casi a la mitad de lo que es el curso, ¿verdad? Este, eh, espero que eh, pongan todo su empeño porque ya la siguiente semana creo que ya les empiezan a, a, a decir que, que, que llenen sus papeles cuando ya tengan ustedes el 80% de la, de la plataforma. Por eso es que hay que apurarse, porque entre más luego usted termine lo que es la cuarta sección, más luego va a tener chance de inscribirse para la próxima clase. ¿Ok? okay. Well, see you tomorrow. See you, Miss. Okay. See you tomorrow. And I'm sorry okay. because I was very, very slow today. I... I guess that is something in the air. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. See, See you next nice. Take care. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye.